Hi everyone, it's Miss Allen. Welcome to Adventures in Storytime. I'm coming to you from the Story Tower at Billings Public Library, and today is our last virtual story time. Yay! It's also the last one for summer reading, and it is on the rainforest, so let's get started. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round, and one little child sits quietly down. So like I said, today's stories are about rainforest habitats and the animals that live there. We have done a lot of talking this summer about the different um, habitats and the animals that live there. And then this is our last one rainforest. Um, and some of the stories and the songs we sing today might be considered jungle, but rainforest is what we're, this book is called. And this is by Alexis Romanus. Rainforests are very cool. This is a rainforest. A rainforest is a large warm forest where rain falls much of the time. Some of the wettest places on Earth are rainforests. Most rainforests are found near the Earth's equator. So that's in the middle of the planet where it's really warm. We're up higher than the equator. The Amazon rainforest in South America is the biggest rainforest in the world. Most rainforests get more than 70 inches of rainfall each year. The rough Raphalesia is the world's biggest flower. It grows in the rainforests of Southeast Asia. Look at that flower. Marfo butterflies eat fallen fruit off the forest floor. Oh, maybe we should read this big part first. A rainforest ecosystem is a place made up of animals and plants that need each other in order to live. So like this butterfly eats fruit that's fallen on the floor this is an agoutis, and it's the only animals that can open Brazil nuts. The capuchin monkeys spread pollen from tree to tree, just like the bees, and toucans nest in holes found high up in the trees. Plants are an important part of a rainforest ecosystem. They provide food and shelter for animals that live here. So they talk about um, poinsettias and chocolate and the rubber tree which makes sap, and the banana tree that can grow up to 150 bananas. Lots of important things that grow in the rainforest. Many different animals make their homes in the rainforest. There's a jaguar, a gorilla, vampire bats, anacondas, and the, snake, the skin of this poisonous dart snake which helps keep it safe from predators. I said snake, but that's a frog. Boy, I'm off a little today. Rainforests are sometimes called the lungs of the planet. Their trees make much of the air people and animals need to breathe. Nearly 400 billion trees live in the Amazon rainforest. Rainforests around the world are getting smaller every year. People are cutting down the trees and selling them. People burn trees down in the rainforest to use the land for farms. These fires sometimes burn more rainforest than people mean to burn. And you can help the rainforest by uh, planting trees. And then there's some of those animals we talked about in the rainforest. So our first song we're going to sing today is to the tune of Ever Seen a Lassie, and it's called You Might See Some. And so we're going to make some animal sounds of animals that live in the rainforest. So first, of course, there's lots of birds that live in the rainforest, so you need to chirp. Chirp, 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 chirp. There's a sloth, which kind of squeaks. Squeak, squeak. Monkeys. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Snakes. Sss. Frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. And crocodiles. Snap, snap. Alrighty, so it goes. If you're ever in the rainforest, the forest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some birds chirp, chirp. Ready to do sloth? If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some sloths squeak. 
monkeys, ready to ooh, ooh, ooh like a monkey. If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some monkeys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alrighty, let's do snakes. If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some snakes. Alrighty, frogs that rub it. If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some frogs. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Alrighty, and last but not least, our crocodiles. Ready? If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some crocodiles. Snap. Alrighty. Let's do our next story. And I really wanted to make sure that we did a story about this animal and its life in the rainforest because we have one that lives at the zoo and he will be part of the zoo um, video. So what animal do you think it is? It is a sloth. This is Slow Samson by Bethany Christo. Isn't he cute? And he is headed to a party. The thing that Samson the Sloth loved more than anything in the world was to make others happy. Samson had lots of friends and got invited to lots of parties, but there was one problem. Samson was slow. Hey, Samson. Hi, Fran. While he climbed through, climbed through the trees and chatted with the tree frog, the party was starting. While Samson stopped to sort out an argument, mine, no mine, mine, ours, his friends danced the conga. And while he helped a, toddle, a toppled tortoise, his friends sang happy birthday. By the time Samson finally arrived, the cake was all gone and the party had finished. He had missed everything. Do you see some great forest animals? There's a toucan and a monkey. There is an armadillo, and I believe that's like a little badger, maybe. Oh no, thought Samson, it's because I got distracted along the way. Next time I'm gonna hurry. On his way to the next party, Samson didn't stop for a tree frog. Sorry, gotta rush. Work it out yourselves, he said. He had no time for the monkeys. And he charged past the tortoise. Can't stop. And if anyone asked for help, Samson said, no, I'm busy. Look at that. Look at all the great animals they show there. He was out of breath when he arrived, but even at top speed, he was still slow. He'd been horrible and rude to everyone for nothing. Without Samson stopping to help, everything had gone wrong. The tortoise had spent the whole day stuck on his back. The tree frog had no one to talk to, and the monkeys arguing had annoyed the whole rainforest. I'm just so slow, Samson sobbed. No matter what I do, I'll never make it to the party on time. Samson's friends were worried about him. We need a plan, said Mac. Together they came up with lots of different ideas, like the rocket pack, a balloon, the time of the invite, roller skates, even catapulting him. And one seemed like it just might work. Which one do you, would you pick? The next day, Samson received a new invitation. He knew he would be late again, but his friends were looking forward to seeing him. He couldn't let them down. To Samson, there's a party tomorrow, usual place, two o'clock. Hope you can make it. Samson set off for the party. This time he didn't hurry. He stopped to chat with the tree frog and he was ready to help the monkeys. But the tree frog said, hey friend, nope, not now, gotta go. When he stopped to help the monkeys, gotta dash, gotta go. And the tortoise, can't stop now. But they all rushed off when they saw him. They must be very mad at me, he thought. Samson felt awfully lonely and he was still slow. 
By the time Samson arrived, he was sure he was hours late. But to his surprise, he found the party had only just begun. We love Samson, even if he's late sometimes. We changed the time on your invite, his friends explained. You had an extra two hours to get here. It really started at four o'clock. There was dancing, there were party games, and there were plenty of cake. But best of all, Samson had an amazing day with his friends. Everyone agreed that it was the best party yet because Samson had been there to share it with them. And how great was it to see all these really cool forest animals? I don't know what just fell. Oh, the book. Um, the toucan, the leopard, the snail. Lots of great um, rainforest animals in our story, right? All righty. I'm going to lean down and pick up my rainforest book that I dropped. There I am. <laughs> there we go. All righty. So we have another song to sing. This one is set to London Bridge. And the words at the beginning are a little tough for Miss Ellen, but we're going to get through it. We're going to make more animal sounds. We are going to roar like a tiger. We are going to like a snake. We're going to oh, oh, ah, ah, like a monkey, crocodile snap, and frogs ribbit. So lots of great animal sounds in our um, songs today. So um, I went to the jungle one day, tune of London Bridges. So here it goes. I gotta go, London Bridges falling down. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a tiger on the way. And this is what he said, roar. Very good. So now we're doing snake. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a snake on the way. And this is what he said, all right, remember we got a monkey? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a monkey on the way, and this is what he said. Ooh, 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 ah, ah. I don't know why I feel that I cannot say the monkey sound unless I do that. All righty, now we're going to do a crocodile. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day, and I saw a crocodile on the way. And this is what he said, snap. Alrighty, and now our frog, it, frog who ribbits. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day, saw a frog on the way. And this is what he said, ribbit, ribbit. Do you stick out your tongue? Good job. Alrighty, so before we do our last story, just a couple of reminders. Summer reading is winding down. This week will be the last week for summer reading. Remember that um, we have bingo at the end of this week on Thursday. So if you would like to participate in the family bingo, it's via Zoom. So just email us and we will send you the Zoom link and you can play bingo with us. We're gonna have some great prizes. Um, next week on Friday, Miss Allen will be at Pioneer Park at noon. We're going to have an ice cream social and I'm going to read some stories. So you'll get to have story time in person out at the park. Woo! So make sure you come and see me for that. All righty. Um, and then story time, uh, excuse me, um, summer reading ends this week. It'll be the last time you can put any points in, earn any points. You have the following week to be buying those raffle tickets. So if you haven't purchased raffle tickets, I really, really recommend you get started. It does take a little bit of time. And then we will have prizes announced um, in August, first week of August. So keep an eye on our webpage for when prizes are announced. We won't list them. We won't call you. It will come up on your summer reading account. So make sure you stop by and pick them up. Also, if you don't win a big prize, we still have a really cool grab prize with lots of grab prize with lots of great stuff in it. So you'll want to come by and pick those up. Um, and then virtual story time is coming to an end. This is my last virtual story time. And the plan is in September to go back to in-person story time. We won't be having it in the story tower. We will have it in the community room, but we are very excited to bring story time back to the library. Miss Molly will be doing craft and Miss Carla will be doing craft and we will have story time in person. So I'm super excited to see you all 
and to do story time in the community room. So that won't be until September. So there is nothing going on at the end of July or through August um, as we prepare to get started with in-person story time again. So I'm super excited for that. I have enjoyed doing it virtually, but I am ready to see you guys in real life. Alrighty, so you do need a virtual code for this program today. Big long one, swinging from vines. All one word, no spaces. Put that in so you can get some points. And we're gonna read our last story, which is kind of a song. So that'll be fun, right? It's called Over in the Jungle. So if you've ever heard Over in the Meadow, it's the same tune, only it's called Over in the Jungle, and it's by Marianne Burks. Alrighty, here we go. Over in the jungle where the trees greet the sun lived a mother marmoset and her marmoset one. Swing, said the mother, I swing, said the one. So they swung and they hung where the, gre gre where the trees greet the sun. Remember how we talked about they eat fruit from the ground? Over in the jungle, wearing wings of shiny blue, lived a Marfo butterfly and her little Marfos too. Flit, said the mother. We flit, said the two. So they flitted and they fluttered, wearing wings of shiny blue. Over in the jungle, on a leafy canopy, lived a noisy mother parrot and her little parrots three. Squawk, said the mother. We squawk, said the three. So they squawked and they walked on a leafy canopy. <gasps> what are these guys? Over in the jungle on a rainforest floor lived a leaf cutter ant and her little ants four. Scurry, said the mother. We scurry, said the four. So they scurried and they hurried on a river, on a rainforest floor. I wonder what these are. I don't think we've talked about these yet. Over in the jungle near a big beehive lived a mother honey bear and her little honeys five. Scramble, said the mother. We scramble, said the five. So they scrambled and they rambled toward a big beehive. <gasps> Snakes. Over in the jungle curled around some mossy sticks lived a long mother boa and her little boa six. Squeeze, said the mother. We squeeze, said the six. So they squeezed and were pleased, curled around some mossy sticks. Over in the jungle, in a broom of hide heaven, lived a poison dart frog and her little froggy seven. Hop, said the mother. We hop, said the seven. So they hopped and they plopped in the broom of hide heaven. They find a flower and some water. Over in the jungle, where she knew how to wait, lived a mother ocelot, and her little ocelots ate. Pout, said the mother. We pout, said the eight. So they pounced, and they bounced, and they learned how to wait. You have to wait. Go real slow in order to catch the animals. Over in the jungle, hanging from a heavy vine, lived a super slow sloth, and her little sloths nine. Creep, said the mother. We creep, said the nine. So they crept and they slept, hanging from a heavy vine. Does that look like Winston? Over in the jungle, in their rain, rainforest den, lived a father holler monkey and his little hollers ten. Hoot, said the father. We hoot, said the ten. So they hooted and they hollered in their rainforest den. See you. This way, here we go. Look at all those animals. Over in the jungle, come on, let's take a peek. In this busy rainforest, they're playing hide and seek. Find us, said the children, from 10 to one. When you find all the creatures, then this rhyme is done. Look at them all. I uh, recommend you check this out and try to see if you can find all the monkeys, all the honey bears, all the butterflies, all kinds of stuff that lives in the rainforest. That was a really good example of all the fun stuff that lives in the rainforest, wasn't it? Alrighty, so let's do our two songs again. We're gonna put the words up and then uh, you'll sing with me. Are you ready? So first we'll do You Might See Some. Here we go, here are the words. If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some birds chirp. 
If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some monkeys. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some snakes. If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some frogs. Ribbit! Ribbit! If you're ever in the rainforest, the rainforest, the rainforest, if you're ever in the rainforest, you might see some crocodile. Snap! All right, let's do our next one. I went to the jungle one day. Remember, that's kind of to the tune of London Bridges. Though the first line doesn't fit as well as Miss Allen would like, but we're gonna do it. Are you ready? I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a tiger on the way, and this is what he said, roar. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a snake on the way, and this is what he said. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a monkey on the way, and this is what he said. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a crocodile on the way, and this is what he said. Snap, snap. All right, frog is the last one. Here we go. I went to the jungle one day, jungle one day, jungle one day. I saw a frog on the way, and this is what he said. Ribbit, ribbit. All right, we're back with our flannel board today. So we have all of our jungle rainforest animals. Let's talk about what we got. We got a toucan with his very colorful nose. We have a very colorful frog. This is actually probably one of the poison dart frogs. We have a snake, snake. We have a monkey, remember? Ooh, uh -uh. And our sloth just hanging around. Alrighty, so how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five little jungle critters. Five little jungle critters. Not one more. The toucan flew away and that made four. Four little jungle critters, lots to do and see. The frog hops away and that makes three. Three little jungle critters, what will they do? The snake slithers away. And that makes two. Who's our two left? We have a sloth and a monkey. That's right. Who do you think's leaving first? The monkey. The sloth's too slow. Alrighty, so the two little jungle critters playing in the sun. The monkey swings away, and that leaves one. One slow sloth left alone, so she slides away, and that leaves none. But then, the five little jungle critters, back they come. They'll have fun playing in the sun. Did we learn lots of things about our jungle animals this week? We learned that they like, that they live a lot off the vegetables and the fruit, excuse me, the vegetation and the fruit in the forest, and that we need the forest and the trees to help our animals, and then these animals help us. How amazing is that? I hope that you have joy, enjoyed learning about all the animal habitats this summer. I had fun reading about lots of different animals. Remember that we will not be having any more virtual story times, but the virtual story times that we have already filmed will stay online for a little while. And we plan to have story time in person with Miss Allen in the community room in September. So keep your eye out on our newsletter, our social media, and our um, newsletter so that you know when to join us for story time. Um, until then, on my face I have a nose. 
On my feet I have ten toes. I have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. Have two arms I reach up high. And with my hand I wave goodbye. See you later, guys. Hello, welcome to Adventures in Storytime. This week's theme is rainforest animals. So we are going to make these cute little sloths. Um, let's see. You can color them, you could use markers. Um, I'm going to use paint. I thought it would be fun if we got to paint together. So that's what we're going to do. I have my space all set up. Um, I have some paper towels and like paper put down so I don't get the table all messy. <clears throat> I have a paper plate that I'm going to use for like a palette so I can mix paint or um, keep my paint on there. I have a bunch of brushes and some paint. <clears throat> this is just washable paint. Um, I think this is acrylic. Kind of any sort of paint that you want to use should, should work fine. Okay. I think that I'll probably need a couple different sizes of brush. Um, maybe this one for like the hearts. Maybe this one for like the tiny details on the face. Um, and then maybe this one for like the body and for the branch. Um, I also have a cup of water and these um, little tubs if I want to put my paint in there. Um, let's see. So I think I'll do my sloth like a lighter brown, um, and then maybe I'll do this branch, um, just like a regular brown. I'll do the hearts red, um, and then he has some like details on his eyes that I'll do black and white. So we'll get started. We'll do this together. It'll be fun. Okay, so I would like to make, we don't have a lighter brown, but that's okay because we can mix paint. So we'll just do like a little bit of brown and then some white and it should make it a little lighter. Okay, so we want to do mostly brown with a little bit of white, like maybe just this one. <clears throat> this white has kind of dried up, so so I'm going to go see if we have a different one.
Okay, this seems like a really good color for the body. I'm switching brushes because there's a lot of, there's not a lot, there's some detail um, that's really small, like when my brush was too big to get the paws right, and then also I have like these little pieces of, little tufts of hair that I have to do, and I have to be really careful. Whoops. So that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna put my brushes in here to clean them off a little bit. Okay, let's do the hearts now.
so, so far I have painted it brown, a lighter brown, I mixed white. If you mix white and a different color, usually it makes it lighter. Um, so I did that with the brown to do his body. Um, then I mixed um, the white with the pink and I made like the color of his nose and like his cheeks. Um, I've done the hearts pink, so now we just have like a couple things left to do. I'm gonna do really fast, just like um, oh, this paint is super runny. This is okay. to use this black do the eyes okay while we have this black in here let's make a darker brown so we'll just add some brown so we're going to do the branch this way
So, he's almost done. I'm going to go over um, the details on the face again because when I, well I thought, oh this looks really good white, but then I wanted to add a little bit more color so I made a super light brown. So now, it's hard to see the smile. So that's what it will look like when it's all finished. They turn up turn out really nice. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my mess, but before I leave, I will give you this. This is your summer reading event code. It is I heart slots, all one word, all lowercase. I heart slots. Okay. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.